They want us to write an equation for a cubic function with the zeros of negative 4 and 3 plus i. So this is, this is the equation. It's x plus 4 because if negative 4 is a 0, mm -hmm. that means x equals negative 4, which mm -hmm. means x minus 4 equals 0, and there's mm -hmm. your yeah. Whoops, x plus 4 equals 0, and there's your factor. Right? And you can do the same thing with this one right here. Yeah. x minus 3 plus i. And there's a little tricky rule. If you know one con or imaginary 0, then it's conjugate, which you find just by changing the sign in front of the i term, mm -hmm. the imaginary term, which so this would be 3 minus i, is also a 0. So it's x minus 3 minus i. Now, that, that is the answer. And if they didn't tell you to write it in standard form, you would be done. Because all they said is write an equation. Mm -hmm. But they really don't mean just any old equation. They mean it the cubic. They want the cubic in standard form. They want it to look like ax squared or x cubed plus b, x squared plus cx plus d. That's what they want you to write it like. So in order to get it into that form, you need to take all of these linear factors and multiply them together. Now that could take a long time because mm -hmm. there's a lot of foiling that I have to do, a lot of moving things around. So I'm going to show you yeah. a trick. Here's the trick. The rule is that this, this pair of linear factors, if you multiply them together, is going to be Where equal to... Where did you get this from? This one right here? Yeah. That's the conjugate of this. Oh, okay. See how this is 3 plus yeah. i? That's 3 minus i. Yeah. That's how you know that's got to okay. be there. So the rule is x squared plus, um, actually, sorry, I did that wrong, x squared minus the sum of the zeros plus the product of the zeros. That's the really nice shortcut. So all I really have to do is find the sum of these two zeros, and mm -hmm. that's easy. 3 plus i plus 3 minus i. The i's cancel, and you just get 6. Mm -hmm. So the sum is 6. And the product is not quite as easy, but it's still pretty easy, because look at what happens when I FOIL it out. I'm going to get 9. The middle terms cancel out. Uh. Minus i squared. And what's i squared? 1. Negative, negative one. one. So negative negative one is a positive one. Uh -huh. So what's the product? Ten. Ten. There you go. That is what I would get if I multiplied those out. It's a okay. much it's much shorter and easier mm -hmm. to do it that way. Okay. okay? That makes sense. Now we're still not done, because we still have to multiply this out by x plus four, but that's a lot easier to do. Yeah. So let's just do that super quick with color coding so you can see it. I'm going to first put the x squared in there, there, and there. So that's x cubed minus 6x squared plus 10x. And now I'm going to put with purple the 4 into here, here, and here. That's positive 4x squared minus 24x plus 40. And I'm going to add like terms. x cubed minus 2x squared minus 14x mm -hmm. plus 40. There is your equation that has these two zeros, and by the way, it also has this yeah. third zero okay. as well, that which we knew it had that. Sense.